Welcome everyone back to the channel and back to Geo Detective. Um, you know the score by now. I'm trying to locate my fans based on the limited information that their pictures contain. Uh, last week it, there was enough information for me to get this picture, this Edinburgh snap, fairly quickly. And the same for Silhouette's picture, who's apparently a guy by the way. Apparently that's a guy. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it now. I think it was the hair. It looked like the hair was up. Yeah, so sorry about that, Scylla. Okay, obviously your name's not Scylla, is it? The cat's out the bag with that one. Uh, never mind, but sorry for thinking you're a girl. Um, yeah, but I got this New Orleans picture as well, relatively easily. Even if I did think that that was two bridges for a good while. When it was... Oh, no, it was two. Oh, Jesus, I give up. It was two bridges and I thought it was one bridge for a while. Anyway, um, now towards the end of the last episode, you probably remember me saying something along the lines of, it's getting a bit easy. Um, it's getting a bit stale at the moment. I'd got the last four or five pretty quickly. Um, you'd have to go back to Aaron Amberleaf um, to find a picture that I really struggled on. Or even Billy Biscuit, which was four or five ago. Um, however, when I clicked right, on this photo it was very clear that this one was going to be very hard because there's next to nothing really googleable stuff here to go on now i can tell you that i've been working on this picture now for a day for a number of hours four or five hours and i still haven't found this place i don't want you to help me on that at all that's going to be ongoing please don't if, if you manage to work it out yourself please don't go commenting on this video uh, or any other videos because it will ruin it for me uh, but I that is on the back burner and today I move on to the next ones which I think are more gettable at first glance so let's go straight into our next picture and it's from Thin Fliss oh god Flynn Thistle Flynn Thistle and the first thing that jumps out at me here is this monument now I'm hoping that this is quite gettable but I might be wrong but I can already see we've got it, it looks like one of those monuments that signifies the border of two states or even three states or even four states it could possibly be you know if you think about New Mexico Arizona Texas that sort of area there could potentially be four but I haven't read it I've seen the word Texas here that's the only thing I've read so let's Let's move in. Right. Texas, New Mexico. I can now read. This is going to be one of those things. Okay. Highest point in Oklahoma. I'm now reading. 4972.07 feet above, above the sea at de as determined by a survey ordered by Governor Johnson Murray. Yeehaw. And completed uh, blah, 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 Oklahoma. So basically, this is not going to be. Surely, this is going to be very easy. Highest point in Oklahoma. Right, straight onto Google. Then um, there's the spreadsheet of all the guys we've got so far. I'm going to leave that one blank for Draco Dinkelberg. Highest point in Oklahoma, not Oxfordshire. And there it is. That's an easy one, Flynn. I can do this. So if I just click on, so Black Mesa, let's open Google Earth. Not very prepared. So Black Mesa, Oklahoma. Doesn't look like much of a hill or a mountain. Let's let Google Earth spin around. And zoom in on that there it is okay so it is yeah it's like a tabletop sort of mat yeah well how do you describe those a plateau a sort of tabletop plateau plateau interesting let's have a look at an another look at the photo okay so that is the highest point even though it just seems to be really flat makes sense it's very flat and there it is so we can get in 
and look at these photos. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. The bush is slightly bushier in this picture to go along with this gentleman's beard, Jason Vasquez. Hello, Jason, if you're watching. Doubt it. Um, but that's where we are, Flynn. I worked you out. I sussed you out quickly, mate. I'm going to put the marker down there. Oh, no, that's not a marker. That's the that's the little yellow man. Um, okay, one second, because I want to... Yeah, I'm just going to put the marker down on the monument. I don't really want to work out which direction we are, although the sun is coming from that way. Okay. Let's make a marker. I'd say we're there, because you've got the marker there, and it's next to the bush, and that would correlate with the sun coming from the south. So, I'm going to label that. that that's got to be the quickest one yet, possibly apart from the one in Hong Kong. But I think this was even quicker. So, Flynn, thank you. That makes a change, I have to say. That makes a welcome change from the torrid time I've been having with Draco Dinkelberg's photo. You haven't seen that yet, of course. Um, you've just seen a lot of quick ones recently, fairly quick ones. Uh, it's another quick one, I'm afraid, for you guys. But just know that I'm working hard behind the scenes. I'll send that to Flynn. I'll send him an email and he can just confirm. Let's move on to the next one. So, the right arrow of destiny is clicked. And here we go. Whew, okay. This is going to be harder, obviously. I don't think we've got anything here. that immediately stands out as something I can Google. That is the pièce de résistance, isn't it? Looks like some sort of conference centre or possibly a library. A university building, something like that. It looks very much like a conference centre, the kind of place you would go and have a conference uh, or maybe see a, see a band or something like that. Um, climate wise, uh, country wise, huh, okay, we are driving on the right, I was going to say, could this be Australia for a moment there, so we are driving on the right, so it's, it's just got to be the USA, hasn't it, probably, oh wait, do we have USA flags there? I don't know that we do, because we've got purple ones here, red ones there. So I think they're just another colour. The most unremarkable colour imaginable. Um, over here, a big car park with lots of red banisters. What does his shirt say? If it's broke, fix it. Fit. I don't know if it does say fix it. Isn't there a funnier gag there somewhere? Fix it. Mix it. Nope. Uh, don't know. Ah, look at this. This could be our ticket. Oh my god, he's standing on a... It looks like a really steep ledge there. Hang on a minute. Right, two things. Uh, one thing at a time. Realty something group. Realty, what's the what's the bit in the middle? Realty one, Realty one group, um, Orion Center, something Orion Center possibly. Realty one group is what I'm gonna enter. Realty one group, found it I think already. Uh, Laguna Niguel, California. Laguna Niguel. Laguna. Lag that does look like it says NA, like Laguna, but that's not. Laguna Orion Center. Is that what that says? I can hardly read it, but. No, I think I've, I'm getting getting a bit cocky there. 
so back to this. Um, I, th I mean, we've got this, haven't we? Surely. Laguna Niguel, California. Let's type that in. Presuming that's the headquarters. We might even be able to do three here today. Laguna Niguel, California. So we're jumping over the mountains, over the Rockies. And we are here. Look at that. That is crazy. Look at the housing complexes we've got here. Full of swimming pools and whatnot. Where is that? Just north of... Oh, it's okay. It's south of LA. It's kind of adjoined. It's joined onto LA, to be, to be honest. Irvine, Laguna Woods, Laguna Niguel. Now, this isn't necessarily where we are, but it does look like we could be there. Oh, no, I don't see the conference center, to be fair. Okay, getting a bit ahead of myself, getting a bit excited. Um, what about this? Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Like a pyramid. To be honest, when I first saw it, I thought we had another, thought we had another sort of Aztec round. But no, it's a very modern pyramid. Oh, don't open Vegas Pro. Right, what the hell is that? That is the Chet Hollyfield Federal Building. What the? I am, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to quickly Google that. The Chet Hollyfield Federal Building. Colloquially known as the Ziggurat Building, and it's a United States. So I was wrong. It's a United States government building built between sixty-eight and seventy-one. You're telling me? Um, it's been owned and managed by the. So basically, the Pacific Region Administration. All that boring stuff. Okay, back to business. That's just so impressive, though. Look at the bloody size of this car park. You have so much space in America. You just don't know what to do with it. You have so much unholy space. Look at that. I don't think there's a car park that big in Britain. Not many. Not many. Anyway, getting very distracted. We've got to be on this hill here. We've got to be. Um, okay, let's find our spot. Let's line things up. Okay, we can do this. I'm gonna quickly open this in paint because we really haven't got much sort of foreground stuff to go on. We can see he's standing on a mound, but let's open this. How do we open this in paint? Open with, open with? What, what the, what, what? Paint. Thank you. Oh, that's big. Not your bum, just the photo. Uh, oh, who is this by? Ginger Passion. So sorry, Ginger. This is by Ginger Passion. Thanks for sending in your photo, man. I didn't give you the time of day there, did you? I sooner mocked your rear end than actually called you by your name. So sorry about that. Anyway, I've, I think I've found you, Ginger. Uh, just got to draw a line down and find out exactly where you are. Line. I'm going from that corner, just there. And, oh, let's zoom out a bit more. <clears throat> right, so straight down, what, so, okay, we're in line with the T on the stop down there. Can you see it? The T, right through the middle of the T, I was gonna say just to the right of that post. So, we can, we can do that on Google Earth. Let's get in there. I'm hoping this just works beautifully and it doesn't take me too long. Right. Oh, is that a swimming pool? Lots going on here. I thought that was a... It's like a massive gym or something. That is... It's all going on in this place. Laguna Niguel. Okay. Again, for those of you who haven't seen me do this, we draw a line. I'm going to make it red to match the other one. Just because I'm a bit weird and OCD. And we will... It just looks better, to be honest. I'm not weird, really. Uh, right, where's the stop sign on that thing? I want to take terrain off. I want to take 
to rain off. Where is that junction where we can see the stop sign? That's changed, hasn't it? Now hang on a minute. Where are all those? That's completely different. That's different, isn't it? I don't see any of that. Don't tell me we're over here. We are, we're up here. I don't believe it. Okay, that's a completely different complex we're looking at there. It's a high school. That's a friggin' high school. Mate, come on, seriously? That's insane. My high school was awful compared to that. I've got all the, yeah, okay, so should have known when I saw all these solar panels and, and whatnot and nothing adding up whatsoever. Right, let's move it around here. We need to change that corner. And we're moving over here. This is more like it. That's That's got no swimming pool. It's a business. And we are going right through the T. Question is, where do we stop? There, I would say. Right there. How about that? Because that's, if we get terrain on now. Whoa. Oh, is he? Yeah. So that's what we're looking at. I just can't believe how steep that is. That's really steep. Yeah, I've got a tree here. Look at this tree. I wonder if we can find those. Yeah. Is he on a rock? He's on a rock, isn't he? Is that a rock? I think that's a rock. So I am going to go for it. I'm going to say that he's on this rock here because we've also got the trees to his right there too. So yeah, I'm going to go for that. And if we do look down, we can literally see the stop sign is directly in line with that. There it is. See it poking through? Hello. Tee -hee -hee. Cool. Yep, I'm putting a marker down and I'm gonna try one more today. This is, cause this is too short a video if, if I end it here. So there's my marker. That one was by Ginger Passion. Great name, mate. Some of you are really christened with just great names. Um, so Ginger Passion, done. I'll email that to him. What's next? I haven't got a clue. Let's find out. What is our third and final picture today? Wow. Wow. Okay, we're on a racing track. Perhaps not a very big, well-known racing track. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got UK flags all around here. Oh my God, surely I can get this. Is this like Brands Hatch or something? I only, the only racing tracks I know in Britain, off the top of my head, are obviously Silverstone, where the Formula One is held, Brands Hatch, which is just like a, I don't know, it's just like an iconic, I don't know why it's so iconic. Uh, maybe they used to race there years ago. Brands Hatch and Donington, which I've actually driven round Donington racetrack. Uh, on a on a sort of track day, which was amazing, and I don't think this is Donington. Um, right, this guy, I don't know what he's. He looks like he's holding a PS2 in an in an ASDA bag, an old ASDA bag. This has got to be an old photo because you wouldn't get those ASDA bags these days. This is at least sort of. I don't know when did they bring out the new bags, the big thicker bags. I guess like six, six or seven years ago. Not that it matters when this was taken, uh, but British, okay, let's just type in Brands Hatch, because what if, what if it's right? Brands Hatch, images. 
that be it? I want, I want, uh, what's, what's it called? The, the, where they, where they take off from, where they set off from. Brands Hatch Straight, track. Okay, gra yeah, grandstand, Brands Hatch Grandstand. Brands Hatch Grandstand, that's quite hard to say. That is probably our best picture there. I don't think we're there. I don't think we're there. But we've definitely got British flags all along here. So we are in Britain. Oh, by the way, this is by Harry Bogswirler. I forgot totally to announce uh, the name again. Why do I keep doing that? Is it because I'm moving so quickly? I'm not sure why I'm doing that. I'm very sorry. Harry, sorry about that. Uh, but this is from Harry Bogswirler. Uh, he's standing on the track with a beautiful grin on his face. We can't quite see it, but I've seen the original unblurred photo and it's a beautiful, lovely cheeky face he's got. So, girling. I I'm thinking I can probably Google some of this. Girling champion. Girling. Grandstand. Racetrack. Let's just try that. It might just come up there. Look, girling. Goodwood. Goodwood. I've heard of Goodwood. What goes on at Goodwood? Definitely stuff goes on at Goodwood of note. Right, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> Funnily enough, that's... <laughs> it's a 3D image of it, but... That's got to be it, right? With the girling thing and the Rolex... Yeah, it's even got the Rolex tower, so... Next thing, Goodwood race track. It's quite big. There it is. There it is. That's an old picture there. But it's the same, really. Good, you know, girling and champion. I would say that this photo was taken about 10 years ago, judging by the Asda bag. <clears throat> Goodwood saw its last race meeting for over 30 years in 1966 because the owners did not want to modify the track with chicanes to control the increased speeds of modern racing cars. Is it used now, or has it been turned into a, a horse racing track with even more decreased speed? Goodwood Circuit closed in 1966. No, because, no, we've got a photo of it here. I know what you're thinking. What are you doing? It doesn't matter. I'm just interested. I get really into these things. Right, Goodwood Aerodrome. We'll be able to see. We'll be able to see on, on Google Earth what's going on in there. And we are recording. Is that the second time I've checked? I think it might be. Right, Goodwood Aerodrome. So we've actually got Spitfires and shit and B-52 bombers. Wow, it's all going on at Goodwood. Okay, maybe we do have the odd car park that is pretty damn big. Um, although they're just fields, aren't they? That's not a permanent car park. Um, so, sorry, I'm just getting really curious about stuff. That's a camping ground. I just love looking at stuff on Google Earth. So, Chichester. Yeah, Goodwood Aerodrome. That's all well and good. But where's the race course? Where's that? I mean, come on. I can't even find the horse. The horse thing. Ah, the horse track is around the... Right. Right, 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 right. The motor circuit is here. The motor circuit is here. It's historical, isn't it? I don't know if it's still used. And the horse racing track? Maybe we'll find that in a second, just for peace of mind. Can't put the little man down there, but that is, without a doubt, where we're talking, isn't it? We just need, yeah, we just need to figure out where exactly he is. He's just behind that white line two positions back or three positions back from in line with the girling tower there's the girling tower there's the white line he's right at the start he's at the back of the grid never mind harry you'll do better in qualifying next time but i'm going to put your marker down right there there that's to the pin end by the way not the not the middle of the thing 
Uh, Harry Bogswirler. That's got to be an, a surname that's on its way out, dying out. It's got to be. I've never heard it. Harry Bogswirler. Three done in one episode. That was great fun. Um, do not worry. You are you are going to watch whether I find it or not. You are going to witness me absolutely toiling over this photo because I've toiled already. I'm not going to show it you for any longer because I'm absolutely fucking sick of it. Uh, the only thing I want to do now is just for peace of mind find the race course. So Goodwood Race Course. Where's that? It is. Oh, ah, there it is. Ah, all's well that ends well then. There's the race course. Maybe that's why I hear the name Goodwood quite a lot. And at Goodwood today, it was 410 to the head. Uh, and there's the race course. So all mysteries today completely solved. Chichester looks like a really cool place to go and visit. You've got the sea, you've got Bog Bogner Regis, you've got race courses, forests, parks, aerodromes and Harry Bog Swirler with an Asda bag. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, there's not much else to say today, is there? No, other than mission complete, three in the bag. See you next week everyone where I fill in these blocks green at the very least. Who knows, maybe I'll be filling in Draco Dinkelberg's one in green too, I hope so. Or that might drag on a bit longer and I might carry on down the list. Either way, take care and I'll see you all soon.